Assalamu alaikum. Um, I have not filmed in quite a while. I, during that time, I graduated college with my bachelor's degree, got out of the military, and finally got multiple diagnoses, so we figured out where all my pain was coming from. Alhamdulillah. Oh, and in that time, I also reverted to Islam on uh, 13th of Ramadan this year, so uh, subhanAllah for that. So today, um, I am going to give a couple of tutorials. Um, I'm going to give a tutorial for this style, and then also uh, additionally how to wrap a niqab with it. Uh, it's a very easy style. Um, I really, really like it for summer, and it gives a lot of chest coverage as well, which I find very handy, and I really like it. Okay, so let me show you how to do this. So. You don't actually have to wear an underscarf with this style. Um, I didn't wear one today. I just put one on for the video. Um, and I'm sorry about the dim lighting. I'm in my bedroom. Um, so basically, if, you, if you're a little nervous about it, because it can give you kind of a looser... Um, it can be kind of looser around the neck, which I like because I get nervous about uh, things being tight on my neck. Um, you can wear an underscarf underneath it, and I definitely do that sometimes. It just wasn't needed today. So take a normal um, pashmina size scarf. This is uh, one that I recently received from my friend. He sent me several scarves from Kuwait, where he's stationed right now. Um, so put it on like so. Actually, I'm going to put the blue on the outside. And on, you have one side that's short and keep that side how, whatever the length that you want it to be permanently is, okay? So then you're going to take the long side and wrap it under your chin, reach in and pull it through like so. So then you take the top edge, hold on to it, tighten it as you want it to be, and then you can pull the bottom edge to loosen the scarf so that way you get good chest coverage. It's really simple um, and you can wear it just like this um, in which case I would recommend wearing an underscarf because it will uh, pull back at times. Um, today I put on a headband on top of it, um, which is why I didn't really need an underscarf because it kept it down. So now I'm going to show you how to make this into a niqab. Um, I've done this several times at work with uh, several different scarves and it's really comfortable. Um, the only thing is since I uh, wrap from the right side, it can make it a little bit difficult uh, when eating because then it's blocked. So all you're gonna do uh, for it is you're gonna take the side that you pulled through, fold it over if you want, if not, just bring it across your face you can use a straight pin or you can use a uh, closed no snag pin. I'm just going to use a straight pin for the video. Bring it across your face. Adjust it how you want. And if you have an underscarf, pin it to that. If you're going to wear it in niqab style, I would recommend an underscarf for pinning purposes. It just makes things easier. So you can make this um, loose or tight. I'm going to make this a little looser because I don't like um, niqabs tight against my face. And there you go. So you have a beautiful uh, niqab style. Let me take the headband off and I can show you what it looks like that. Okay. 
plenty of chest coverage. And as long as you, you know, in this hot weather, <laughs> as long as you use a decently thin scarf, you'll be able to breathe perfectly fine. Um, I find that pashminas are usually okay as long as it's not stifling hot out. Um, I'm in St. Louis, so it gets really humid, uh, which is why I bought a Saudi niqab as well. Um, so please let me know what you think. And if you want me to do more videos, because I would love to. Um, and yeah, so just let me know. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for watching.